The first time I saved a life, I was six years old. I was having dinner with my parents when I saw my neighbor through my window, suddenly fainting on her couch. I suddenly felt a pain in my chest, and I knew that she was feeling it too. That lady was in danger. I made my parents follow me to her house and call 911. She'd been having a heart attack, and the doctors saved her life thanks to our help. That was the day my powers were recognized. You see, I've always been a bit different from others around me. My parents didn't realize it for the longest time. They thought it was just funny that I burped every time they did. They loved me for how I always seemed to know how they were feeling. I was the dream daughter, but they never thought that I was some kind of medical marvel. After many years of testing, we discovered that I had a rare condition called mirror touch synesthesia. I could physically feel what other people feel, so long as I was looking at them. I became an instant hit among the doctors in town. Synesthesia this strong was rare to find and they were all clawing at the chance to study me. I wanted to help people with what my dad called my superpower. So I answered doctors' questions day after day and let them run countless tests on me. And the day they published their findings, everything changed. I went to school like it was any ordinary day and noticed that the vibe was totally different. People were saying hello to me. They wanted to talk to me and sit with me at lunch. Wait, what? I'd always been the weird, emotional loner. Why was I suddenly Miss Popular? Everyone was curious about me and wanted my attention. Even Selena, the most popular girl in school. When I was heading to class, she pulled me aside. You're the weird, uh, the girl who can feel people's emotions, right? Uh, yes. Great, I need you to do something for me. Story time about how I'm in love with my sister's boyfriend and I think he likes me too. Actually, no, I know so because he kissed me three days ago. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. The story I'm about to tell you guys is pretty bad, so please don't comment me in the comments. I swear I'm a good girl. A little backstory, my sister and I have never really gotten along. She's three years older than me and thinks she's the queen of the house. And she's always seen me as competition, which I hate. My mom would always try to make us get along, but it was totally impossible. My sister was always upset at something I did. Eventually, I stopped trying with my sister and I wouldn't make any effort to make her like me. Finally, last year she moved out and I was so happy. We celebrated my 20th birthday at home last year, and of course my sister came over, but she brought this really cute boy with her. Let me tell you guys, it was instant love at first sight. I can't even explain what I felt, I just knew that I liked him. Even my mom made a comment about how good looking he was. And can I just say that I caught him staring at me a few times throughout the dinner. After that, I never really saw him because my sister and I never hung out. Until my sister lost her job because of COVID and had to move back in with us. And this meant that I was seeing her boyfriend a lot more around our house. He was so nice to me. Anytime they wanted to watch a movie, he would always invite me. If they were going to go out to eat or go to the beach, he would always invite me. Eventually, I started saying yes, well, because I liked him. And something told me that he liked me too. And yes, I know it's totally wrong, but I just couldn't help myself. Whenever I knew he was going to come over, I would dress up and look really cute. I also had a pool in the backyard, so I would make sure I was in a bikini whenever he came over. I know this sounds bad, but it's gonna get worse. Well, guess what? Around this time, my sister actually got COVID. Thankfully, she didn't get really sick, but she was a little bit under the weather. And of course, she had to quarantine. So she basically stayed in her room and we all were on the other side of the house. Of course, her boyfriend, let's call him Mark. Mark would come over and bring her food sometimes. On one of these occasions, he asked me if I wanted to go to the beach with him and his friends the following day. He knew that I was totally bored because of quarantine, so I said yes. And guess what? He didn't tell my sister that he asked me and I didn't tell her that I said yes. So it was our little secret. The following day, I wore my sexiest bikini and we had a great time at the beach with his friends. While we were at the beach with his friends, I could tell that he kept staring at me. And he caught me staring at him too a couple of times. When we drove back to our house, he made a comment about how good I looked in the bikini. That's when I told him that he looked really good too. From then on, we started flirting all the time, making little comments, staring at each other. And he also started following me on Instagram. So I got to work posting sexy stories all the time. And it totally worked because he would reply to them. That's when I sent him a naughty picture. Part two is up. When I was younger, there was a girl I knew who lived in our neighborhood. None of the kids liked her because they claimed that she stinked and acted weird. When they talked about her, I kind of felt bad. So I became friends with her. Yeah, of course, I got the, why do you hang out with her? But she really wasn't all that bad. But her scent, they were kind of right about that. One day, she invites me over to her house and she was very excited because she told me I was the first person to ever come over. And I felt so honored, so I went. 
But when I went into her house, it smelled very bad, almost nauseating, but I didn't say anything because I didn't want to be rude. She had a lot of uncles that lived with her family. Honestly, it was like four to five families in one house, to be honest. But she first introduced me to her stepmom. I said hi to her, but she just stared at me in disgust. Then we went to her room to play. As it got later, I told her I needed to go home. But she begged me to stay longer because she was scared. I told her I'd come tomorrow, and she just starts crying. She runs into her bed and falls into her sheets, which lifted her skirt. There were bruises all over her thighs. Let me know if y'all want a part two. Part two about the girl I know who lived in my neighborhood. So it's late and it's time for me to go home. She said she was scared and starts crying. Then she runs into her bed and flops into her sheets. Her skirt lifted and there were bruises all around her thighs. I ask her, what happened? She looks down and quickly pulls her skirt over her bruises. I ask, did someone do that to you? And she says she can't tell me. I ask why. She responds, if I do, they're going to hurt me. So I ran downstairs to her stepmom and told her what I saw. She sits and laughs in my face. I was so confused and asked her, are you gonna help her and she tells me that little hoe can help herself and that i actually should be going home so i went into the living room where her uncles were and told them one of them had said that's why that girl don't need to be bringing random folks into the house and runs upstairs to her room one of the other uncles asks you want to get popped i shook my head in fear and said no and he yells at me telling me to go home from there i ran home and never came back and after that day she never came back outside it's been seven years to this day i wonder what happened to her And I didn't close my legs, which resulted in me forming a third hole. The that happened to me too! Story time. I'm paddleboarding with my brothers. We see a rope swing and they want to do it. I've never done it before, so I'm like, okay, sure. So I'm thinking like, what's the worst that could happen? Look at me, naive, happy. Little did I know. I didn't know you weren't supposed to monkey grip the freaking rope. <laughs> so the rope, yes, it's all on video. The rope ends up flossing up my butt. Look at that. To make matters worse, when I landed in the water, I didn't let go of the rope. And literally at this moment in time, legs up in the air, rope in between me, I felt the most excruciating pain ever. I can barely swim back. I get out of the water and I'm bleeding, bleeding. So I'm like, I need to go to the hospital. Like I did not know what happened. Come to find out, I got a rope burn so bad from the rope flossing my butt and woman part that it literally gave me a new hole. I had to get stitches, a tetanus shot, and antibiotics. And now my brothers roast me. You will never catch me on a rope swing. So when I was like five and my brother was like eight, he and I would fight like all the time. It would drive my mom insane. So this one time we were driving in the car and we were fighting and then my mom like pulled over off the side of the road and then was like, if you guys start fighting one more time, I'm gonna drop you off the side of the road. Um, and then we just completely ignored her and we started fighting again. And as soon as we started fighting again, then it, she again pulled off on the side of the road and was like, get out, get out of my car. And we were like, huh? And then she was like, get out of my car. And so we got out of the car. We were probably like, I don't know, three or four blocks away from my house. And then my mom drove away. And just as my mom like drove away, my grandma came driving through and she saw us. So my mom's plan was to drive around the corner like just to scare us and to pick us back up. But my grandma saw us and she, she picked us up and she was like, what, what happened? We were like, our mom dropped us off at the side of the road. And then my grandma was like, get in the car. So we got in the car and then we left with my grandma. So my So when I was a sophomore in high school, I had this teacher who would only let the students in her class use the restroom one time per semester. Well, one day I raised my hand and I was like, excuse me, I don't remember her name, can I please use the restroom? And she was like, no you can't because you've already used the restroom in my class this semester. <laughs> well, excuse me, you can't dictate my bladder. So I'm like all frustrated and I started secretly texting my mom because I wasn't allowed to use my phone in class. And I was like, mom, I'm sitting in class right now, my teacher won't let me use the restroom. And she was like, I'll take care of it for you. And I was like, okay. So like five minutes goes by and all of a sudden my teacher's phone starts ringing and she walks up to it and answers it and she's like, hello? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And then she walks up to me like so angry and she like slams the pass on my desk and she was like, since you have to go that bad. And I was like, yeah, I really do. Thanks. And I got up and left. I didn't even have to go to the bathroom. It was just the principle of it. I just roamed the halls. <laughs> Story time of how I caught my grandma and my dad sleeping together. Yes, you heard me right. My dad was sleeping with my grandma. 
Sadly, I had to be the one to find this out and walk in on them doing the dirty, and it was probably the most traumatizing experience I've ever had. So basically, my dad told my mom that he had to start working late to get extra money, because at the time, we weren't doing so good money-wise. So basically, a couple months go by, and my mom said he started acting really, really weird, and then asked me to keep an eye on him and see if he's, like, doing anything strange. So you know me, the best daughter in the world, kept an eye on him, and I didn't find much out. Until one day, after I came home from school, I got locked out of my house because I didn't have my key. And both of my parents were so cold at work. So I told my mom and she works an hour away so she couldn't come get me. And so I just had a friend drop me off at my grandma's house. So I tried calling my grandma but she didn't answer so I decided I was just going to go anyways. I go through the back door like I always do. And I wanted to sneak up on her and give her a hug. So I try to be as quiet as I can and I walk in the room and see my grandma and my dad butt naked on the bed. I'm running out of time. Life for part two. <laughs> Story time about how I'm in love with my sister's boyfriend and I think he likes me too. Actually, no. I know so because he kissed me three days ago. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. The story I'm about to tell you guys is pretty bad, so please don't come at me in the comments. I swear I'm a good girl. A little backstory, my sister and I have never really gotten along. She's three years older than me and thinks she's the queen of the house. And she's always seen me as competition, which I hate. My mom would always try to make us get along, but it was totally impossible. My sister was always upset at something I did. Eventually, I stopped trying with my sister and I wouldn't make any effort to make her like me. Finally, last year she moved out and I was so happy. We celebrated my 20th birthday at home last year, and of course my sister came over, but she brought this really cute boy with her. Let me tell you guys, it was instant love at first sight. I can't even explain what I felt, I just knew that I liked him. Even my mom made a comment about how good looking he was. And can I just say that I caught him staring at me a few times throughout the dinner. After that, I never really saw him because my sister and I never hung out. Until my sister lost her job because of COVID and had to move back in with us. And this meant that I was seeing her boyfriend a lot more around our house. He was so nice to me. Anytime they wanted to watch a movie, he would always invite me. If they were going to go out to eat or go to the beach, he would always invite me. Eventually, I started saying yes, well, because I liked him. And something told me that he liked me too. And yes, I know it's totally wrong, but I just couldn't help myself. Whenever I knew he was going to come over, I would dress up and look really cute. I also had a pool in the backyard, so I would make sure I was in a bikini whenever he came over. I know this sounds bad, but it's gonna get worse. Well, guess what? Around this time, my sister actually got COVID. Thankfully, she didn't get really sick, but she was a little bit under the weather. And of course, she had to quarantine. So she basically stayed in her room and we all were on the other side of the house. Of course, her boyfriend, let's call him Mark. Mark would come over and bring her food sometimes. On one of these occasions, he asked me if I wanted to go to the beach with him and his friends the following day. He knew that I was totally bored because of quarantine, so I said yes. And guess what? He didn't tell my sister that he asked me and I didn't tell her that I said yes. So it was our little secret. The following day, I wore my sexiest bikini and we had a great time at the beach with his friends. While we were at the beach with his friends, I could tell that he kept staring at me. And he caught me staring at him too a couple of times. When we drove back to our house, he made a comment about how good I looked in the bikini. That's when I told him that he looked really good too. From then on, we started flirting all the time, making little comments, staring at each other. And he also started following me on Instagram. So I got to work posting sexy stories all the time. And it totally worked because he would reply to them. That's when I sent him a naughty picture. Part 2 is up.